you'll be the life of the party. You cook cheese, baby. Get muck, get go cheese out doors. Oh, she's rolling out here. Rather than we doing this episode, we are at Montauk still with the boys. They Taxi! They're the boys right now. All right. The problem right now, we went to the shark grounds and we got an east wind. You know why I blame the east wind? On the damn Russians. Putin, you can go pound salt. <laughs> that wind comes from the east. Bunch of filthy Russian crap comes with it, right? That's what I think. Wait, there's a couple of Russian viewers. What? I have like three Russian viewers, and you're all fake news. All right, there was no collusion. All right, so what we're doing here, we are out. It's blowing like in a what? This is a kid-friendly show. It's blowing. We're out here. Dropped in baits, fresh mackerel baits that we caught. Club sorry, Kenny caught a lot of them, by the way. We're fluke fishing, so he's catching mackerel because he's just. <laughs> right. Explain it. So at least I was catching something. I put nothing. <laughs> you kidding me? All right, let's go to the facts now. The kid put the most poundage of uh, fluke on the boat. Thank you very much. All right, so we're out here shark fishing. Stay tuned. It's blowing. Look at the seas we're dealing with here. Hashtag no bueno. Well, we're in the Everglades, 295 cc. Worked to the beans, 300 Yamas, twins of them. 300 plus 300, yeah, that's 600 horsepower. All right, like I said, we're rolling at it. It's not for the faint of fall, but who's got a heart in this boat, right? Kenny doesn't, because he can't even catch a fluke. Huh? All right, stay tuned. Well, we did have a bite though, right out of the gates. Now, we usually get them, so stay tuned. And then that play is after, we're in basically the area, I'll tell you right now, because I don't care about blowing up spots. Shut your mouth. Can we get it on the back? Shut your trap. We are near the gully, off of, off of Block Island. Block Island, let's talk about Block Island. A lot of, a lot of uh, metros are over there. I'll leave it at that. We've been walking around Montauk, and every person we want to punch in the spleen, all right? So getting aggravated over there in Montauk. Michael, what's your fix on Montauk? I am 100% done with Montauk. I'm done with baby strollers, <laughs> walking Hello. around papooses. It's just a horrible place. Men wearing freaking, like, three-quarter pants. What is that? Capris, capris. Men wearing capris, honestly. Gosh, this country's, do going, country's going down the tubes. All right, so my point is we're getting aggravated with these people right now. You literally, the guy walks past you with a papoose on his back, and he's got capris on. You want to punch him in the in the solar plexus and then maybe... That's how bad it is out here. We've lost. <laughs> we've lost. We are bad. <laughs> we have lost the man of the, of, of the United States. I know the con strong with mentally men. It's not bad to be a man. If you if you see these mongrels out there, it just wants to make you throw up. All right. Remember, America. Who was that? Oh. Be a man. <laughs> it's like be a man, baby. But that's what we're dealing with right now. We're losing the country slowly but surely. But we're gonna take it back. That's the name of the game. Oh, sweetheart, you want a cafe latte mocha fronte? Would you, no, don't spill in your caprice, you fruit loop. <laughs> yeah, that's what it comes down to. Guy's got like, I mean, really, he's got makeup and highlighter on. Well, I see Dennis Wiz, man. Oh, he's on the boat? <laughs> <laughs> Not every one of those. Oh, boy. All right, so that's what it is right now. So stay tuned. Get go cheese outdoors. Next uh, thing, we're going to segue right into a fish on. Who's got the rod first? All right, folks, first of all, Kenny had to get a timeout, right? He had two choices, either go overboard or sit in the back of the boat like he is and contemplate what he was doing right there. What's timeout for? Touching somebody else's fishing rod when they're fishing. I, that's a pet peeve of mine, all right? Gosh, obviously he's not missing his three hots a day, obviously. All right, so he can handle that fish. He's brand new on the fish. I have no problem with you if, he, if he's fighting for an hour and wants to handle the rod. But he had the thing for three seconds, and what does Kenny do? <laughs> Goes over and starts touching the rod like he's helping him out. Really? What is that limp wrist that Kenny's gonna do to hold that rod up? 
alright, back in the boat he goes. You don't touch other people's rides, that's my pet peeve. I got no problem if it's a kid, you know, a little kid with a whatever, a big bash, you help him out, I get it, alright? But that's how we started off. You just don't touch other people's rides. It just doesn't look right on film, all right? Did that look right to you right there? Let's go back to it. I'll go back in slow mo right now. I'll go back fast mo. It doesn't look good, period mo, all right? So we were out there right now rocking my freaking Alan Yacht sales. I still haven't grown into this thing yet. It's a freaking, I don't know, bro. I'm getting it, getting the weight back too. How you doing? I have a glade. But I still, I think I need a woman's petite. This thing is still big on me. Tex is rocking his like a son of a gun, but I got mine. I think I need a medium. I don't know. It's too big. It's too big. I do love it though. Watch the back of it. America. I love that. All right, so we go out there. We do a little uh, before we go sharking. Of course, we did the old Montauk uh, fluke and sea bass and stuff like that. And we got some serious fish right there. I'm gonna give a hat tip to Andy putting this on the fluke though. He goes, we just picked up three keepers in one drift. So I go, that's pretty damn good. So I said, send me the long lat. What's he do? He sends me the long lat to the freaking dock where he's at. All right. So the kid gets a little pissed off. I down. But he realized he didn't clear the cursor and he did it right. So we get there, what we do, we drop down, we're on the fish immediately. And this is where I picked up that big fish I just keep showing up because it was a big fish, you know. We got some good fish. Club showed the Kenny here with the Johnny Knight's title tails, big balls. All right, so why are we using big balls? Because for those of you who fish out in Montauk, that freaking tide kicks like Bruce Lee. Right? So we're using six ounce big balls from Johnny. We're doing a, almost like a chicken rig, but the bottom rig is that big balls and it brings obviously the baits down there and uh, you're really fishing three baits. But very effective. It got so fast though, the tide got so fast that we would go into the old school three ways with eight ounces and 10 ounce sinkers. That's how I got the big fish on a 10 ounce sinker. You got Kaz right now, Kaz there with a nice sea bass. These videos don't do him any justice. That is a huge sea bass that Kaz caught, all right? Come back. Oh, come oh, on. I was going for a freaking net. That was he way premature. It. He did not say net. He did. You said net. I said good one and he goes, yeah. I didn't see you. you That's a good one. Shoot That's your head. That's a good one. That's Johnny's balls again. Oh, I love them. All right, so now we go over to our next fish. It is a shark. And who's got it? Dennis has it. And a bunch of you wise guys who DM me and email me call him Pinata now. Apparently from his gaffing techniques. No, Dennis! Oh, Dennis! All right, so here comes Dennis right now. He's on the fish. <laughs> <laughs> Now he's got the shark. I said, what's wrong with this shark, man? He's not fighting right. He was a fight. And now he's hooked up. <laughs> that shark was so strange. <laughs> right. So there you go. There's Dennis right there. Uh, nice blue shark. Released, cost customs again. And it was off the hook out there. There were so many whales out there. There were so many uh, porpoise just messing with us, chasing us around. There was just a ton of life out there. It was a beautiful place to be at that time. The sharking was a little sporty, but when we looked at the weather, I looked at the weather before I made that run, I knew that my weather was gonna comply on the end of it when we we're gonna go tuna fishing. So now we're gonna go to Cars right now. We already told Kenny, you touch that freaking rod again, we'll beat you like a redhead stepchild. And that's no offense to redhead stepchild. My boy, Steven Metz, my man. I don't know why you would say that. But you know what we used to call redheads back in the day? And this is horrible, but I say this stuff on this channel because I don't go for cancel culture. We used to call them poojies, redheaded poojies. Makes no sense, does it? But we had a, we had a uh, guy that lived down the block from us. He was redhead. We called him redheaded poojie. All right? That means no offense to redheaded people. All right? I love redheaded people. I just think... Pushies. You can't even say anything funny anymore. But I refuse to uh, comply. So let's go. I mean, I'm going on the freaking side again. I love the redheads. I love everybody, all right? We're all God's children, people. Get over it. All right? Let's look at that feeling, sirs. Eh? Let's go to Cos right now. Surprise fish. You're going to like this one. See that, Mikey? I got it. I think you popped the float, though. Am I? Nope. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. Mike, let me know. Give him more freedom. 
Dennis, lock him up. Right, lock him up. Crank, 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 crank,
cooked meat with a salad on it. Yep. What does it get? He's got a little uh, surface. Yeah. Turn. It's almost it's that my long Guys, you can extend that if you want a little bit. You push the button in. Yeah, you could go. Come on. Oh, we got my little balloons. Go ahead. Go, Mikey. Sorry, Mikey. Go, 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 go. I'm trying. Go, 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 go. Around it, wait, Mike, get him over the blanker. He's good. He's got it. Mike knows what he's doing. Kyle knows what he's doing. Round shark, Mark. Okay. I think. Yep. No, hammerhead. Let me see. It's a hammerhead. I <laughs> hate hammerhead. How sick is that? That is sick. All right, Dennis. You are going to get the. I wouldn't walk that far. Go back, go back, go back. I'm not done yet. You're pretty easy. He's pretty green. I wouldn't mess with that guy. Mike, you gotta go back, kid. Right. I'm trying. Yeah, you're in his way, guys. Give him, let him like, be clear. I can't go, I can't. Alright, well, now he's, that's the right, piss. Let's just Alright. Alright, he's gonna go front. Now he's gonna go to the front, Mike. Mike, you work your way to the front. Where you, Mike, work your way to the front. I'm good here. I'm okay. good here. Oh, Mikey! Hey, Mike, that's a decent fish. Hammerhead. We call Mikey Hammerhead now? Mikey Hammerhead. Michael! You! Start that boat. Start the boat. Then pull in that chum bucket. Please. And just don't move the boat unless you absolutely have to. Because Mikey Hammerhead's on the thing. Dennis, you got your D hooker ready, right, kid? This is Mike taking another dive on me. These rods over there, 12 bucks, are holding its own. No, no, no. Look at you moving. <laughs> oh, God. That is cool stuff right there, guys. That is good cool stuff. He's not done yet. He's not done. He's not done. No, no, he's not. The best is for probably cost to go in the back of the corner of the boat and make it easy for everybody. Okay. Michael, give me a well, He's all the way up to the dome. I'm not, I can't go anywhere. Look, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that That's sick? Hey, uh, I'm sorry, but Kenny, you have gloves, you know, in the, in the effect. Nice! Yeah. Twist it, Dan. Twist it. Twist it. There you go. Guess what? I think we gotta get the D-hook of the car. I think so. Let me catch him and D-hook him myself. Hold on, Mike. I got it, I got it, I got it. We just can't get it. There you go, Mike. You got it. Push it down like you mean it. Push it down like you mean it. There you go, boy. Top cuts the baby. Good job, Mike. Shut up. Shut up. Hook. I got a little cut on. Nice, Mikey. That's the first time I've had. First time I've caught a hammerhead. Mikey, gosh. Saw one the other day. Not caught one. Nicely done. Nicely done. I, 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 nicely done there, Kaz. Kaz is extremely happy with his little catch there. I was pretty surprised to see uh, a scalped head hammerhead come say hello to the kid on the preacher. All right, I got some uh, housekeeping right now, right? Con hats. People keep asking me where to get them. I don't sell them. They're for sale over at All Pro, right there, baby. AllProNational.com. Click for the con hats. I appreciate you uh, guys doing that. Uh, also, look what this is right here. For the bait buckets right there. I'm gonna put it right in front of my face. These are bait buckets. These are free, right? Send me a self-addressed stamped envelope to this address right here. I'll ship out two of them to you for your buckets. Once I'm out, I'll say I'm out of bucket stickers, but I'll be glad to give those out to the confer on the arm. But you're taking that risk, all right? If you send that uh, 25 cent self-addressed stamped envelope and I ran out, you just lost 25 cents. That's a risk you're willing to take, right? But I'll, I'll make it, I'll, I'll, I'll let you guys know when I'm running out of them, all right? But uh, I'll be glad to give out to the con because I love the con. And I'm, I'm, I'll give that stuff on the arm. Vince right now, over at All Pro, he's going to charge you for those hats. But, keeps, keeps the channel going. And I appreciate your uh, support. Now we're going into this other fish. This fish beats the nuts out of my boat. Not happy about it. I got to get Joey Tiles over here with his buffer and all this stuff. It's still popping! Look at that! Look at that! <laughs> Sushi! That guy has problems. This, this, this fish was no joke. Uh, Dennis is on it, and... 
it's a fight and it hurt my boat. So I was gonna jump in the water and do a couple of moves on it. Maybe a broken ball grab, maybe a, uh, I don't know. I, I, I was gonna go weird there. I stopped right there. All right. Let's go to dance right now on this monstrosity of a fish, which is surprise number dose. This is a big fish. This is a big fish, guys. Big fish, big fish. Oh boy. Somebody no joke. Give me that gimbal. No joke. Get what this uh, release off of him. I'm gonna get off. You stay. Keep pressure on that fish. I'm gonna take this off. There's no joke, this fish. Okay. You clean those rods? Yep. All right. Get that chum bucket in. And Dennis, uh, Kenny, keep right this way. You're gonna take the phone, right? Get, get out of the phone. Uh -huh. This is what it looks like a little fish. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mike, you get the gear? Mike, you're gonna Z-hook if we have to. Kenny, you're gonna run the boat. Mike, are you gonna take care of the angle? This thing's out there. Holy cat. Mike, are that a little one? Okay. Yeah. No, uh. Yeah, yeah let's do uh, Dan, is that a legit fish? Much heavier than the last one. Remember, the last one didn't really know it was hooked until. Alright, we're getting there, we're getting there. Clear! You're good. You're good. Ken, you see where we are, right, kid? Yeah. What's your job? I got yeah. the D hooker or the gaff. Nice! And the one's in hand. Mike, do you know what to do with the gaff? Yeah. Just, all right. As long as it's tied onto the boat. Unless you want me to ride the gaff, I mean. No, I'll do the gaff. Well, let's just see what we got filming. here. You stay filming. Okay. This we're gonna gaff him, we're gonna have to get that ball. No, this is a legit fish. Well, you got good right there, Pretty baby. sure this is a legit fish. Hopefully oh, yeah. it's something we can right, eat. Why are you so close to my face? No, it's not that close. <laughs> oh, okay. You look handsome when you run the ball. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Thank you very much. And then you put two hands up on top of it. So it helps you support. Right. When he wants to run, but always yeah. run. Keep that good bend to the rock. Don't hurt. Alright, folks, as you can see here, we switch gears a little bit. We got club show that can't even run the boat right now. This seems like a much bigger fish, so we're just trying to make it, you know, we'll run the boat, we're keeping the angle up front. Mark, you want to try to find the fleet, no? No, we're going to go to the ball. Gonna, yeah, I don't want to do it. I don't have enough line on it. Oh, no. Oh, coming up. Coming up. I don't know what that is. I think it's a blue shot. Big blue? I think it's a blue. No, it's not. It's a hammerhead, huh? Oh my god, that's a really huge hammerhead. That's a freaking big, big one. Alright, then, why don't you walk back? Can you, uh, what do you think about hammerheads, bro? They're strong. <laughs> Look at these rods, they're legit and they're freaking cheap as nuts. Look how clean that water is. Oh, hell yeah. Fuck this one. Mike, were you just talking hammerheads today? You wanted hammerheads, so we got your hammerheads. What, you wanted Mako's? Tomorrow's Mako. Is it Dennis Hammerhead or Mikey Carr's Hammerhead? I don't know, they got it. Now let's get them. Keep them more of a bend. Believe me, there's... Then when you bring that in... There's pressure on it. No, not for losing. I don't want you to break it. It's the same thing. Yeah, it's <laughs> he just took all that line out. You're screwed. Dennis, that, 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 my link will hook right now. Do <laughs> <laughs> you know how much vitamin water Dennis is going to have to drink? Oh my god! <laughs> He's, oh, he's got he's a power. Gonna, yeah, with soy muscle milk. <laughs> he's got muscle milk What's on the stuff? Yeah. What's that stuff? He that just soft called stuff? Soy milk? No. Is there anyone muscle to give milk. a massage no, no, later? No, that stuff that's like a clay. Oh, I don't know. Fuju. Tofu. 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 This is a tofu fish right now. You know what the best part Mikey of this? Mikey Kaj or right? I got it. Oh, I'm yeah, on it all over. It's his design. God's custom. 
Nice job, Kenny. Nice. There he is, guys. Supposed to get some sunshine. I'm ready. What are you doing? I'm ready. You get the hand hey, on it. Hey, I'll be ready. Eight thousand fifty. You don't have to hand it. There you go. Oh, oh yeah. Pretty great. I don't think you're ready for this, but wow. Holy crap. Crap. Holy crap. Holy crap. Holy crap. Holy crap. Holy crap. Bro, that is the biggest freaking thing. Oh. Oh. All right, guys, we are doing our damnedest to release this fish without the hook in its mouth with the uh, Cots Customs, the hooker. But this fish is so big and squirrely that uh, we choose to go to plan B, which is cut the uh, hook as close as we can to the mouth. All right, these are 400 pound mono leaders, double twisted Reaper rigs. We may have to cut this off, guys. Alright. Give another shot, guys. One more shot, guys, and we'll cut it off. Alright, Michael, we're gonna get a knife and cut this guy free. Alright, do it. Mike, Mikey Cox, you get a knife, put the key hooker down. Get him as close as you can. Hey, get me shot with the key hook. There you have it, players and player haters. Uh, that was a big fish right there, no joke. Where are we going right now? We're going inside the kid's crib. And we're going to do a little taste test, all right? Yellowfin tuna, bluefin tuna, which one do you prefer? Let's go inside and see what Club Soda Kenny's doing right now. Kid's got ninja skills with his little uh, bubble blades. Let's go inside, get some tuna, all right? Okay, what's happening right now? What's happening right now is, well, who do we want to say caught that bluefin? We this guy right here. We all caught that bluefin. Yeah. It's, I'm going to say it's a team bluefin. Definitely team bluefin. Team preacher bluefin, but we are having it as fresh as you can have it. It was sitting on ice a full night in a slush ice. And Kenny is actually doing his finest at preparing it. I, I got to say, it's How's it Kevin would be proud. We are preparing a little sashimi for the boys after a long week Holy offshore. God. And how was your week, Claude? My week was awesome. <clears throat> and to finish off the week, we're going to finish off this tuna. Can I steal a piece? I hate doing that. Of course. Right. Really? A little piece, right? He's breaking in before the uh, presentation. Good, bad, and different. Now this is bluefin, so you had yellowfin before. What do you think? I got a steel piece, Kenny. Both pretty, pretty damn piece. good. The yellowfin was, you know, you can go a little thinner if you can. Didn't you say you, last time I cut it, you like it thick, and now you're saying go thinner. On the bluefin, so go these a are thin. thin. Those two argue like a cute couple, don't they? The taste test was in. Personally, I went for the elephant, bro. I think the elephant is a softer meat, uh, but I did like the bluefin because I like the look of the bluefin. That makes no sense, right? The bluefin was a ready meat. I think it's seared better. I think the bluefin was better when you sear it with the uh, bagel mix. But when you come to sashimi, I'm going yellowfin. Uh, that's my opinion, all right? I'm sure you guys are all gonna disagree with me, but that's my opinion, all right? So sashimi, yellowfin, cooked, Bluefin seared, very rare. Guess a day. That's gonna do it. I wanna give a shout out to our friends over to LNL Wholesale Bait and Tackle. Been taking care of the kid lately with the bait. Uh, butterfish. I haven't gotten a tune on a butterfish yet, but it's gonna happen. But thanks to LNL Wholesale Bait and Tackle. Abby, Mike, Michelle, I love those cats out there. Right there. Make sure your bait and tackle guy uses LNL bait and tackle, all right? If not, you got probs. We're gonna take this out with a nice little ride back to the Montauk Lighthouse on the Everglades 295cc. So where do you get yours? Island Yacht Sales, baby doll. That's where you get it, all right? Uh, go over and talk to Chet. Look at those things. I know a couple of you cats that went over there and had a chat with them already, but go over and talk to Chet about the Everglades line. It is a ridiculous boat. I love it. 
Chet said I'd love it, and I did. So there you go. Thanks for watching Kiko Cheese. Until next time, God bless you all. God bless America. God bless God. Love you.